all new at 11 now. The messages are so bad, we cannot show you them on television tonight. Hate-filled words written on a man's walls in his home. His entire home ransacked, his prosthetic leg stolen. Earlier tonight, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bob Hazen spoke with that man as the people who did this to him are still on the run. This is what Larry Connolly says he found in his apartment when he got home from the hospital on Sunday night. His home in Pittsburgh's West End neighborhood wrecked, ransacked, anti gay graffiti painted on the walls and cut into his couch. Connolly didn't want us to show his face on TV because of the nature of the crime, but says he can't understand why he was targeted. I, I've not made anybody mad. You know, I get along with everyone. I'm one of the people, persons that can talk to anybody anywhere. So it, it's beyond me. Almost all of the residents' clothes were thrown all over the ground and torn apart with either a knife or scissors. Also, CDs and DVDs thrown on the ground and broken. And as you can see here, picture frames shattered. For them to cut everything I own, I couldn't even find a shirt today. Everything I pick up, this whole entire place, you see all these clothes, everything has a cut in it or a rip. Connolly says all of this destruction happened while he was in the hospital between Labor Day and this past Sunday. He believes the burglars broke in his door and spent hours or longer destroying his belongings. Being I was in the hospital, they said they took their good old time because. They were probably in here for hours, and who knows, they couldn't even come back the second day because I was gone the whole entire week. One of the most valuable items missing now is one of Connolly's prosthetic legs. He says it was plugged into the wall, charging when he left, and now it's missing. For somebody to take that, okay, upon everything else, you know what I mean? You know, I could see the watch and the DVDs out of the case and stuff like that. That, like, is just out of spite. The burglary unit of Pittsburgh police is investigating the break in, but right now no one's been arrested. Connolly says he hopes someone will hear the crook say something about the stolen leg or that it'll show up for sale online so he can get it back. But for now, he's working with his insurance company to cover the cost of repairing or replacing everything he's lost. Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.